And we're back, fellow life enthusiasts. I'm C, and this is Jewel. Just Jewel. On this week's episode, we'll be doing some budget friendly folders that we recently got in from Mazarin, Kershaw, in addition to a new high end flipper from BRS. And of course, another Phobos knife, the mini tier one. Anything to declare? She's still here. All right. So we're going to start with the new Kershaw's, the bracket and cannonball. Ooh, I say we do a cannonball. cannonball. All right. So this new Kershaw frame lock has the speed safe assisted opening and offers a black oxide black wash finish, high carbon, D2 tool steel drop point blade that is three and a half inch with jimping and jimping. a plain edge. Overall, it's about eight inches with a gray PVD coated stainless handle and features a reversible tip up deep carry pocket clip with lanyard hole. Oh, look, I'll do it sideways. How about that? Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Blade is deployed through the jimped flipper. Knife features a custom pivot cap and backspacer. Finally, it's only. 4684 at AtlanticKnife.com. Yeah, you should, you should touch it up then there. I okay. just did. <laughs> so, what do you think? What do I think? Of this knife. Well, let's see. I like it. I think it's nice. Mm -hmm. I like the blade shape. Mm -hmm. I like the blade style. Here, I'll let you hold it. I like the handle. I'm not sure about this thing here. I, I do see how your thumb kind of fits in there nicely to make it not slip. Mm -hmm. It's not a standard Kershaw. Mm. But, you know. Well, I like the I like the black wash and the gray combo they got going on. Normally you think they wouldn't, they kind of blend in, but you can see there there's a big difference between mm -hmm. them. There's a lot of heft to this blade, which I also like, even though it's just 4.4 ounce, 5.4 ounces, so it's not as hefty as you would think it would be. Uh, I think it's kind of industrial looking, like the boiler mm. maker they did Ooh, good a choice. while back. I think it's a decent EDC. Handle is a little like the static, if I'm being honest, but... Well, you should be honest. No reason not to be. I want to marry this blade. <laughs> All right, so you ready to move on to the next one? Sure. Let's go to the bracket. Okay. Another cleaver style from Kershaw, designed very similar to the static. This one is the XL version. I'll give you specs. So it's got a black G10 front scale and a steel gray back. Same material and color as the pivot cap overlay type of thing. It's got a plain edge cleaver blade that's about 3.4 inches and is made of 8CR 13MOV. Also has a stone wash finish, opens via the flipper stud, which does have jimping too. It's got a speed safe assisted opening as well. Go ahead. All right. Yeah. This frame lock also has a large choil for enhanced grip, a reversible tip up left or right hand, deep carry pocket clip, lanyard hole, and lastly, it weighs just 4.2. Three ounce. Lots of jimping too. I'm not sure what the jimping is for here. This feels kind of awkward. It could be a four finger. Here. So let's. Oh, okay. So precision cutting. Yes, that I would gotcha. be the way I would do okay, it. Okay, okay. I mean, it's not really in. Well, I was trying to use the choil and and. Uh, now the choil is very so usable. It is. I think they really spend a little bit of time figuring out where to put the placement of these. That's, that's good. This wasn't set down and draw on a CAD machine and say, yeah, it looks good. Sit down and draw a CAD. There you go. I doubt they even use that anymore. It's it's all right in my opinion. I'm not I'm not going to get all uppity about it, though. It's a decent EDC from Kershaw. I feel like the cleaver train, though, left at the end of last year. Mm. I feel like maybe if they'd given it a slightly different style blade, I'd have been a little happier. You know, but... Something groundbreakingly new, but you know, something Kershaw like. Yeah, I mean, well, for those who think the cleaver blade will never go out of style, you know, mm -hmm. you can find the Kershaw bracket on AtlanticKnife.com. 
dot com. That's another thing. Bracket. What? For only forty one eighty four. The name has nothing to do with the night. I'm being one of those ladies from uh. I can't know what it is. Oh. One of those ladies from I have no my idea. harem. Oh, your <coughs> your harem, huh? Yeah. I'm sure your wife will love that. Had to move to Utah for that to happen. I don't think they can call it a harem at that point. Well, okay. Next on the table are some EDCs from Mazarin's new Sport line. They are liner locks, so regular knives for regular Joes. Or Josephines. Or Josephettes. Oh. Yeah. Too much chipmunk watching there. Any, any uh, ways? Tons of colors for this one. There's a uh, black, blue, OD green, and I think that's it, right? Black, blue, OD yeah. green. Yeah. Okay. There's also three different blade styles you can choose from. Uh, there's a little bit of debate going on, but we're thinking they're spear point, clip point, and worn cliff, kind of sheep's foot. Yeah, we're not sure. We can see a picture of it. We haven't got <clears> one yet. Yeah, so I'll show you the what we believe is the clip point one. So it is 440C steel and can be opened with either the dual sided thumb stud. Hold on. Got to get my hand in there. Okay. Hold on. Major fail. There it is. Okay. Oh, I didn't have job. it right. Good I didn't job. have it right. It's hard to do away from you anyway. And this one has a really strong lock up, lock up so it's kind of difficult to get it going. Oh. Once you start using it more, it'll loosen up more. And then it also has the flipper stud. No jimping on the flipper stud. You don't really need it because they made it long enough for you to use. Um, they did manage to get a little bit of jimping in for us, though, on the top of the spine here. Little rough. I might, I would suggest maybe sanding it down just, just a touch because if you're trying to use it, it's going to leave some marks. That's if you but have. It's really for. You have. You know, ha, ha, have what? You, you have girl hands. Oh, I well, have I mean, girl hands. Well, you you work on a computer all day. I haven't worked outside pulling the onions and <laughs> chopping down the corn, so I don't have any calluses all over my you hands. You don't chop down corn. So, uh, God, it's, you know what? Pulling I think I broke onions. a nail. Somewhere between <laughs> and fifty-eight. <laughs> Find them. All right. Well, you know what I meant. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. The handle okay, is... Okay, you know what? Hey. Just real quick. Some okay. guy said he loved your hands. Yeah. Not mine. He wasn't like, I see he's no, got some be, nice hands. It'd be considered weird if he said he liked your hands. Not in this day and age. Oh, is that really what you want to go Perfectly with? Perfectly okay. That's what right. I hear. Oh. All right. Ready? Handle is G10. <clears throat> you need a touch up. Liners are stainless steel. Yep. It offers a lanyard hole. Whoop, whoop. And most importantly, most importantly... Show you the blue one. A tip up pocket clip. This one was what we believe to be the spear point, so. Very strong lock up, like I said. It's even got a stop, you know, so you're less likely to cut yourself. I think that might be the, just the green one. They're all a little dip. Yeah, there it is, so. Right there. A little on the small side since it's just seven inches overall with a 2.8 inch blade. Product of. Maniago, Italy. So, I think that's to be expected, just to be a little on the smaller side. Mm -hmm. I think overall, though, I think it's a good EDC. I'm more used to their tactical knives, like the Ghost and the Badger that we've done, and I think we did like a rescue sometime last mm -hmm. year. But I think you know they're trying to appeal to everyday regular users of knives, regular user of knives. What else would they be regular users of? Well, if you're a Columbia professor. Obviously, you're a regular user of heroin, oh. but... I'm setting yeah. great examples for the next generation of the rich, overindulgent weenies everywhere. Columbia University, we thank you. Yeah. That could only be a little more believable if we had said, like, professor from Stanford. Good old should secede from us, California. Or Berkeley. Yeah. yeah. So. I never thought, actually, heroin would be acceptable anywhere. Anywhere? Mm. Yeah, I just didn't. Except it. <laughs> <laughs> I know where it might be accepted. It just proves you're getting old, you know? Yeah. Now I know how my dad felt when I was like... From the old like, times. <laughs> you know, things that I would say, be like, what are you talking about, boy? Yeah, I bet you walked and said, Dad, everyone's doing meth at school, okay? Just chill. Where are your batteries? God. <laughs> All right. I need my spoon. So, here's what I think about them. I'm actually very intrigued by these. I think it's a... a I think they're trying to do the whole good, best, better they model They could be now. big sellers. These remind me of the Elmars. Yeah. I, I mean, that. these could be... 25 big. a day, or they could be five a day. Or they could be... Don't know. None a day. Guess we'll find out. Guess we will. Good liner locks to have for regular cutting tasks, and they're only 47 
Exactly. From AtlanticKnife.com. Following that act, I gotta get my AtlanticKnife.com out. That's any any color for just forty-seven eighty-four. You can get the blue, the green, the black, whatever. And they're just slightly different. If you couldn't tell, the Spear Point one has a more rounded handle, and then this one is more you know hand fitted with the grooves for the fingers. We didn't have the Warncliffe one, but it's slightly more square. We didn't too lazy to go out and get it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's it. All right, so we're up to the BRS Copish. But first. Guys, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Come on, we got to hit that 7,000. That way we can keep doing these videos on knives and outdoor gear while you get ready to reap the rewards, mm -hmm. okay? Like free knives. Speaking of which... It is finally time to announce the winners of the Kershaw Outright on YouTube and the Steel Bill Gina or Janaya, whichever you want to call it. I think it. I have a problem with just thumb studs in general. On our blog. Depends on the size of the knife. So first up, the Kershaw Outright. The winner of this blue steel beauty. Pause. Can only be Kurt Porter. Yeah, yeah you've won the Outright. Outright. We used to see confetti here, but Chris no longer in that. No, you can still see some confetti. You just don't have any little background. You could sing it, but you don't. Oh, okay. You well, y'all like sing it. it to yourself. Congrats. I'm sure you all know it. I'm sure. And on AK's blog, we're giving away the Steel Bill Janiah to a very worthy person. Oh, I see what you did there. Ah, oh, did you? Bradley Worthington. No, the third. I felt like it would have been better if he had the third. The third, but yep. I don't know. There you could go. be the third. I don't know. Congrats to you as well. Make sure to email sales on AtlantKnife.com to claim your prize. When do you hook you up? So our next giveaways are just as exciting. So you still have a chance to win a little something something. So on YouTube, Atlantic Knife is giving away. Oh, the Artisan Ooh, Kinetic Tool. I did that all wrong. With carbon fiber. I didn't hold the safety handle and I didn't flip it out. I don't think you need a safety handle. Uh, that, that's I what they it, call it. I think this right here oh, is King. the safety handle. Be careful. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. You shouldn't. I have girl You should hands. pretend like all blades are not fake. All right. Did you really just? I'm doing the gun. Oh thing. wait, do you want to show? All them? guns let's are show loaded. Them, let's show them really quick. Show them really quick. So it's got carbon fiber handles there, and I think it's 440C blade. Yeah, so it can do hex bits and bottle openers and ruler. So nice dual purpose there. It's a nice little tool to have for free. It is. I would for take free. it. For free. Good. Way to mention that again. Yep. All right. Over on our blog, uh -oh. if you answer the AK Trevor question, you'll be entered to win the blue titanium kubi. Oh, wow. 232B, to be precise. Wow. I know. Wow. I wish I... D2 blade, oh. titanium handle, and I like the blue especially. It's kind of like a rough hammer type stone wash finish, if that works. Right. Not stone wash exactly, but it's nice. Well, it's easy to win. All you have to do is go to the blog and answer with the answer of the guy or girl before you. Just copy it like you did in grade school. Exactly. Because that's always how we do it. Yeah, and please make sure to give us a big thumbs up so we know you want more videos just like this. Can't beat that. Okay, so the BRS Copish. Yes. I'm sure everybody. Am I saying that right? Probably not. Yeah, you somehow. <coughs> just put it in the bottom. Like it's Kobayashi, okay? Kobayashi. Oh. Anyways. What do you, you like ready? about this one? Go ahead. Oh, I like it a lot about this one. Oh, it's my size. Because when I like it. It's a great nine and a half inches. I like the double barrel spacer on it. I like the way it feels. Double barrel. Kind of reminds me of a, uh, of a K bar, like a 30, 75, 76, mm -hmm. like a mule. We'll stop there for now. A donkey, yeah. Yep. What do you think? I think it's pretty clear that I like most of BRS's stuff, especially after the fragment they had. I think this knife is an impressive piece. I would most definitely add it to my collection. I bad. like the bulky kind of style it has going on. It's, if, and then when you have a knife like that, I feel like I'm getting more bang for the buck. More bang for the buck. Yeah, exactly. And especially when I get a knife like this, like the Mari Colosso, that's a great piece. It's huge and it's decently priced. I feel like I'm getting more. Whereas if I got, I know you people are going to be probably mad, but when I get a cold steel, not like a, an extra large Voyager, but like a Code 4 or a, what's the 20NU one? Pro Lights. Yeah, I feel like I'm not getting as much for the price. 
And this one, I'm like, yes, bulky, big. I like it. I would have preferred. So when you get a four max, you think, wow, this is a decent value. And when you get a pro light, you're like, eh, mm. six bucks less would have been greater. Yeah. Okay, exactly. I can understand that. I would have liked a frame lock though over this. I'm not a big fan of the liner lock on this one. A yeah, frame lock would have been better. I mean, there's a lot to like about this one. It's gorgeous either way mm -hmm. though. I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, nice spec, pocket clip too. Now. Go ahead, let's do it. So, this liner lock is, as he said, nine and a half inches overall. Currently only offered in the black G10. Though, so, we mm -hmm. hope to acquire the carbon fiber line, hopefully soon. Praying. Mm -hmm. But only time will tell. Yep. It also features a titanium stonewash finished, milled, reversible pocket clip. Nice. And anodized titanium fluted barrel spacer. Now you want... Yeah. You just, if you're going to have some barrel spacers... They better be fluted. And anodized. Exactly. Titanium. I can't believe I just use fluted. I can. <laughs> Why champagne glasses fluted? Along with what Bradley we believe Worthington. is a titanium bolster, but we're still waiting for confirmation. So don't, don't quote me on waiting that. Waiting for confirmation. Yeah. The blade comes in three different versions. A flipper stud, mm -hmm. like the one we have here. Yeah. One opened via a thumb slot. Don't have that one, but there's yeah. a picture there. So. You know, we intentionally do not get them <laughs> because we like the flipper stud. Yeah. It's kind of my prerogative. Uh, oh, and one also comes with a thumb pad sh disc. disc. Yeah, it's not exactly a disc. Like you I'm kind of okay on those, but I like to loosen up the uh, pivot so that they pop right pop open. open. Okay. Yeah. I'll have jimping and I'll come with the Evolve case. Yes. It didn't come with the case. Yes. <laughs> Joel wouldn't want it. No. That also is included in the bank for my buck. When a, when a, cold, <laughs> when a cold steel arrives and it's in the little crappy box, I'm like, wow. <laughs> that's nice. Whereas this is like, oh, that's nice. You know what? I can put other things in here. If I don't want to carry that around, I could just, let me look at that. It's got like its own hey, little maybe bed. you can put some of those choppers so you can bring down the corn. <laughs> I put my sickle in there, sure. Yeah, sickle. <laughs> that She's cut got down a sigh. Stuff. Oh, a sigh, wow. yeah, a sigh. Okay. And I can't remember where you were. We're all at are all available at AtlanticKnife.com. And most importantly, mm -hmm. they're only two ten sixty. AtlanticKnife.com. Right here, right here, right here at Atlantic Knife. Here. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. Honestly, I really like this one. You like this one? Yes. I gotta put my sign down first. It's probably my favorite on the table this week. Oh, it's definitely my favorite. I like oh, the wait. choice. The, um, uh, it's a tie for first. I like how the flipper comes out and it blocks your finger just enough. Choil is not all that usable. I would rather have a flame rock. But, you know, it's 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 a nice knife. Jimping's cool on the top. I would probably get one of these, I would say. I would too. Yeah, haven't got uh, a nice knife I this love year. the options. I can't wait to see if we ever get the carbon fiber ones. Mm. If we do, I'm getting one. I prefer the flipper stud version myself, but like I say all the time, to each his own knife. You guys want the thumb slot on one? You like the thumb slot better? Go with that. Some people do. Exactly. So it all depends. Brings us to our final knife on the table. Oh no, not the last one. And that is the Phobos Mini Tier 1. I look forward to this all week. Look at that. And we're almost over. Look at that. Oh wow. That is well greased, it's my greasy. friend. Yep, there Oof. it is. But that's good because, you know, it means no rust or anything. So mm -hmm. I feel like it wouldn't even rust though because the type of knife it is. I can't remember. Oh, I bet it would rust. say 154, I think, is what it is. Yeah. Thank you. I bet I'll steal rusts if you get it wet. Well, hold on. Not Spyderco's oh, yeah. HM1. Oh, yeah. Okay. Jeez. I'm sure. Supposed to be a knife guy. All right. Okay. Told you guys we're bringing on the Phobos Mini Tier 1, mm -hmm. and here it is. It is more suited to mini wild boars. I'm not <laughs> baby lie. boars. No. You go out baby no. boar bashing. No. no. Just smaller ones. <laughs> smaller. Yeah. Ones. If the wild if the wild boar coming at me is like half the size of Pumbaa, then I'm like, ah, I'll break out the mini tier one. I don't really need the big guy. For you this. must have watched an Adam Sandler movie this week. No, I did not. There was watch. one there where a boar chased him. I can't remember what it was even called. It's actually from a game. Is it? Yeah, um, Downhill Domination. There's this one, oh, yeah, there's one level that. that has tons of wild boars attacking you as you're trying to go On down PS2. the mountain. Yeah. So, I, 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 that's what it reminds me of. But I hear that they're a bad problem anyway. Joel's a gamer. Personally, I like the larger tier one scene more. Just personally. Although I can see the usefulness of having a smaller version. It's mm -hmm. lighter, more compact. One's probably more likely going to use this one and carry this one around more than the other one. Yep. So, 
I can see it. All right, spec time. Let's do it. Okay. So this fixed knife is 8.75 inch overall mm -hmm. with a four inch satin finish, CPM 154 stainless blade. That's nice. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Black canvas micarta handle with white liners, extensive yes. jimping. Yes, the jimping is like my favorite Again. part. Along the blade handle and like the tier 1C, this has a recessed jimp yes. finger okay. groove. A large choil for you to choke up yep. on this knife. Finally, it's got a glass breaker slash bashing tool, mm -hmm. a lanyard hole, a Parisian swedge. Yes. And it also comes with, what's that, ladies and gentlemen? Clear stickers. Yes. And a Molly compatible oh, sheet. Yes, yes. That's what I was, that's what I was going to. Actually, I don't think this one's Molly compatible. Oh, no. I'm going to take back what I said. What? They downgraded. The oh. other one has all this like hardware to hook it up. I didn't know hardware. I like this. This is a multiple no, ply no, leather on. sheet. That is a nice leather sheet for belt and like pack carry, but I don't think it's Molly compatible. No, it would not be. And that's a little down. I'm sorry, just a little downgrade. I was expecting to take out the same sheet from last This time. is belt carry. Oh, wait a minute. It'll let you go horizontal too. Yeah, but it doesn't have all the hardware. Yeah. yeah it doesn't. So non Molly compatible sheet. That's all right. Eh? Oh, get out of the bag. she forgot to tell you where it was available. Oh, oh, it's time. Let me get there. This excellent knife. I still like the knife, guys. Okay. Don't get all crazy. Is only $239.95 at AtlanticKnife.com. I know I, you might think, uh oh, she's going to go backtrack on her word. No, I still think it's a great blade. Well worth it. I might even, I might, this oh, is I why forgot. I said tied for first. I had my boar picture. I forgot to show it. <sighs> I hope I never see that in the wild. All that work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could you imagine you're, you're riding your downhill domination bike and here she comes on a wheelchair <laughs> or a walker. I'd be scared. I'd be like, Walkers oh, come flying it. Right we can make her. a video game. We could call it like, uh, yeah, we'll think of something. Shh. Go ahead. Run right into her. Mm -hmm. All right. I would have to save up a few months, though, to get one of these. Mm. Although, I was looking at a Phobos or Eric's website the other day. He's the owner of Phobos. And I saw they had hats. I did think of you, but I was like, you know what? I, I like the hat thing, too. So I clicked on it, and I was disappointed. <laughs> there was no hat. I was like, uh, I saw a picture of it. I was like, oh, that's gray with a little leather emblem. I'm like, that is so snazzy. I will Lord, definitely wear are, that. Are you getting a cut of this merchandise or something? N no, not yet. <laughs> just just kidding. Oh, wow. All right, Eric. Hint, I would hint. definitely, I would Eric, definitely if you're rock. watching, and we know you will be, free advertising here. Send the girl a hat. Mm -hmm. She wants one. Like, you know. should talk. AtlantaKnife.com. You know, I got my Atlanta Knife hat, but it only always, shows only on the back. back. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I think I have a picture of you at Blade Show, and it's just a picture of the back of your hat. Is it? Because I was walking behind you, I was like, oh, this is good. I tried to get her to put it on the front, from. but she kept telling me that it was tearing up the hat. She couldn't get it on the front. I don't know. Okay. You know how it Anyways, goes. make sure to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. That yeah. way we can keep doing what we're doing. And so you guys can have chances to win free knives every other week from our giveaways. We're also on social media outlets like Facebook. Pinterest, which really is a social media outlet, Instagram, Reddit, YouTube, and IGTV. Yeah, I let him do it because it's his birthday week. So. <laughs> That's not funny. Parlor's back, baby. Here it is. Yeah, so look up at Lady Life on any of those. We've got pictures, videos. How do you say it like that? Giveaway info. I'm trying to get him excited. Well, look, you guys and need much to, more. You need to subscribe and like in order to support my habit. Okay. I like this in real life too. Don't worry. Oh yeah. With that. I'm C, and this is. Walk up to him. Be gone from me. Can't C stand is my stage pictures, name. Jewel. I can take awesome pictures. What are you talking about? And Jewel. We're signing off.